vision. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back everybody to The Walking Dead. We're back here doing some survival like we usually do on the same world, guys. So, um, first of all, I am actually back home. We're back home from doing our adventure in the last episode. And uh, these chickens are still causing a fuss over here. For some reason, they keep getting stuck in here and it's really annoying. It, they just It's just bothering me. So, th what we're going to do in today's episode because of that is we're actually going to go on over here and through this side... And uh, we're going to be expanding our base a little bit. We're going to actually have our first farm, guys. It's going to be pretty exciting. I'm actually excited to work on it. Um, I have a lot of cool plans. We're going to do a lot of cool work with this area. It's mostly going to be a wheat farm and a sugarcane farm. And we're going to build the wall today and hopefully get some of the um, um, seeds and everything in the farm starting to grow a little bit, take some shape. And also, I got some cool ideas as well for this room. Now, I'm thinking of doing it. This room can actually be an underground tunnel that will lead all the way down to the water right across of us, as you guys can see over there. And that's where we're going to have our little bridge and a little bit of an area for like a fishing dock. So we can do some fishing if we can get, a, uh, I guess, a, a fishing rod. That would be pretty cool as well. So I'm thinking of this place to be like the main area for like the tunnel. So you enter, you can drop up some things or pick up some things and go directly under the ground. And we can make a tunnel way, which will be pretty cool. If you guys want to see that in the next episode, make sure you guys let me know. So we're going to get started today. We're actually going to go back to our little home here. And we're going to go pick up some important things as well. I also want to talk about a few other things. Um like the server series you guys have been telling me you guys want to see that as well I will make sure to do that um, I'm thinking of going back on seaport uh, as you see barbarian just contact me again and he told me that the kit is actually being made so that means that the seaport map will officially be there it won't be going anywhere so you guys are all safe and good to go don't worry about it they're gonna hopefully fix it and I believe there's a new IP for that as well. Um, I'll keep you guys updated as, as I talk to SGC a little bit more and get some more information from him. I don't want to make up any other things I don't know. So let's get ourselves some um, let's get ourselves some of the iron bars here because we're actually really low on it. So we're going to use all of this and that's a couple. Maybe we'll do a little bit more. We'll take half of these. Now you guys may be saying don't take all the iron, but I am uh, because we have so much iron around here. There's really uh, no need to worry about it and just using it all is fine. We're not going to take any more from the base. We're obviously going to go around other places and check it out and get some more from there but we're gonna take some of this stone here we got a good amount of stone um, and we might need some more eventually if we do so we'll make sure to come back now I just want to organize this first of all as you guys can see we have some more ammo here some more type of gear and guns which is gonna be a cool thing and I did organize a little bit over here which we can do so we can put the morphine that we uh, got from the um, last episode which is the looting episode and then we got some more bandages which I'll put there and the makeshift splints right across over there. So everything is nicely organized. It's really good and it's working out just to our needs. Uh, for food, we're doing okay. We got some more different types of food now like canned food, which is something that we did need to be honest. And I'm going to store this backpack in here because we don't really need it at the moment. Can opener we can put inside near the food area. And the guns, I don't really want to have any guns on me, except for the 44 Magnum. That's going to be like our emergency gun if anything bad happens. And I'll store the rest of the things in here. Take one of these rusty pipes, which you don't need, actually. And we're going to organize this so that we're good to go on our mission today. I'm going to put this um, axe right in the corner there. We don't need that. We're going to put those over there. Grab our um, cobble here, because we do need that, actually. And we're going to organize everything really good here so that it's all good to go and we're set and we're good. We got water. All right, so let's get into today's episode. Um, so let's go do it right over now before it gets too dark because it's obviously getting a little bit dark right now. And I don't want it to get too dark when we're doing our work. Um, there's a good amount of walkers around here, to be honest. So I want to kind of stay safe from any dangers. Now, let's see how many walkers. Yeah, there's a good amount of walkers. So we're going to have to first take them out. Um, I don't know why there's so many there's so many at the night, so we'll take them out one by one here Don't worry. They're not gonna get us. Hopefully they don't get us from here So if we only had like a nice sniper or something like that that'd be amazing um, So these guys are slowly coming closer. They're getting attracted to the noise, which is something a little bit dangerous But uh, 
All right, let's keep looking around. There's a couple over there, but hopefully we can make our mission safe. I want to build a wall right against here to get as much space as possible, and if we need to, we can expand. So I'm going to go down here, make a little hole in here just in case we need to get out of the um, danger zones here. So let's go place this. Hopefully we can get this done safely. As you can see, more and more walkers are going to be attracted to us, so we want to make sure we got our wall built, and then we can go to the top and take them out like this. It's going to be a little bit of a journey, but I think it's going to be worth it at the end once we get all of these guys dead. All right, let's go back down, open this up. Oh, I should not have put a stone, but that was the only thing I had on me right now. So let's go and continue. I don't know how far I want to go, but I don't want to go to the point where it's just going to be too much um, uh, stuff to use to actually have enough resources, so I don't want to overuse our resources. This, I think, is fairly good for what we need until we will expand even more. Right now, I actually just want to get the wall built so that I don't have to worry about walkers anymore attacking us, like right now, to be honest. Okay, okay, this is dangerous. Get in here, place a wall. Okay. Okay, I think we're safe right now. Alright, so, uh, do I have another weapon on me? N not really. Uh, there's a good amount of walkers over here, so... Let's hit them off, um, with our sledgehammer. It's kind of about to die, to be honest, but it's okay. We used it to our benefit. Hopefully it dies being used in proper ways. There we go. Any more walkers around? Oh, there's plenty over here. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this dirt, which is fine over there. So, let's break this down and go safely around. Alright, so, I want to take them out as best as possible here, without them really catching on to us. So, th yeah, these guys are coming for us. Okay, let's place that over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we got this. Don't worry, we're taking them out. We're taking them out. This guy's dead, and put the wall here. Let's go get ourselves some more tools. I, I wish we had, like, another door over here, which I should build, maybe. Oh, my goodness! What just happened here? Okay, we got ourselves a... And uh, a big issue, they came through the base, they actually spawned here, which is something I didn't expect. But if we go in here and fight them off a little bit, get them to um, block by the fences, I don't think they're pretty good at getting out of this fence here. Alright, take you out. Uh, you look friendly, but you're not really. Okay, there we go. Whew, this is getting a little bit intense. They're spawning all over the place. Next time, I'm not going to use that gunshot because it did attract a lot of them. So, we're going to take ourselves a Rusty. We're going to put all these stuff in here. I don't need them. I will take any of these good ammos here for us to use. A scar, we don't have any of that. Um, anything useful in here? We will take the iron. Okay, iron. That would be good enough. Uh, we should make ourselves a sword, so let's actually do that right away. Because in this case, if anything happens, we have ourselves a good iron sword that we can actually use for any dangers that come around us, so we're pretty much okay with that. So, it lasts a long longer, so it's more durability, which is a good thing. Um, Food-wise, we're doing okay, I think. So let's go back out there and kill these walkers, because they got in our ways. I wasn't expecting that at all, like this guy here. So, I'm thinking of the chickens. We're having huge issues right now. Oh my god, we're getting attacked from all over the place. Alright, hopefully there's no more around here. Nighttime is always dangerous, so I want to uh, let you guys know that whenever you're out here in the night, be careful, because they will come after you a lot faster than you were not expecting it. Trust me, it, it just happens a lot. It happened to me many times. Alright, so there's more over here. Alright, let's take all of them out. This is really annoying. Uh, hopefully the daytime comes, and we can take all of them out, and then maybe we can have a peaceful day, peaceful morning with the farm completely done, because that's the goal of this episode. So, we're going to go off onto the side and start placing some of this wired here. Um, some of this barbed bar. wire. Uh, not barbed wire, bar, but we do have barbed wire, bar, which I want to get. So we'll have to work on that as well. So let's go and place these. I need to go two bars high, and then we're going to have to go in the back eventually and lower the dirt so they can't get up here. Now, I don't know how much iron this is going to take, but it looks like it's going to take a lot. So I don't know if I might have, I might not have enough, so we're going to have to go and get some more iron from these buildings and make themselves our iron bars because these are what keeping us safe from any dangers right now. So I kind of want to make sure that these are going to be our main priority to keep in uh, stock. So this guy's coming after us. All right, what do you want, dud? You can't get up here. Oh, <laughs> you can't get up here, actually. This is actually pretty cool. They can't reach us. So we can reach them, but they can't reach us. And they're just, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, they're much more smarter, I thought. That's actually kind of interesting. I wouldn't expect zombies to be smarter. Um, all right, let's take him out. That's actually really cool how they do this. That's why we want to build. They're actually pretty good at parkour. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so let's get back up here. All right, there we go. And let's finish this wall. Hopefully, I think we have another set of um, wires. I'm not sure. Of um, Not barb. I keep calling this barb wire. What is it? Wire fence? Uh, iron fence. Iron bars. Um, so we will use them. All right, so let's take the rest down that we have extras here that we used up. I should have made sure not to do that because these are a lot of these are actually kind of expensive. If we didn't have any iron, uh, I don't think we'd be able to do this. All right, switch to my weapon here. The sword is pretty useful actually. I can't wait to get a samurai sword. That would be amazing. All right, so let's close this up before any more walk in here. 
and this should slow them down uh, quite amount. There we go. This guy can't get up here. He can actually. Um, but until I build this wired fence, the, the iron bars will be pretty good. This is actually a good space to be honest. It is uh, oh, there we go. We have plenty of stacks here, so we should be able to finish this up pretty quickly to be honest, faster than I expected before it turns day. So we might get this done, the fence before day, in which that's gonna be a good thing because then we can work in a day by building the farm and finishing it up. That'll be freaking awesome. All right, so let's finish this up right about there. Come on, get this done. All right, we're safe. Uh, they can't get in here now. We're good. Um, unless I didn't finish the other side. That would be bad. No, but I'm pretty sure we did, so we're pretty much okay now, guys. There we go. So we finished the whole entire little farm segment that I was talking about that I wanted to get done. And this is what I needed. Oh, boy. We got to make sure this is covered for sure, because that then they'll get in easily. Oh, so we have to take out the outside. That's why I did that. Okay, cool. So the inside's completely done. We can actually take these down now, and we don't have to worry about them getting inside anymore. I mean, they do spawn like we just noticed earlier. They did spawn inside, which is a big pain, but hopefully they don't do that anymore. So as you guys can see, this is the little area. Oh, man, it's not really too even. Um, what is it? By one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll do something. We'll figure it out. It's not really 100% even, but I don't really have... Um, a lot of time to waste with that. I need to make sure everything else is safe around here. Let's grab some of this XP. What, see, these chickens are keep on uh, popping out of here. I don't like this at all. Um, I don't know. For now, I'm just going to do this. It looks really ugly. But it could keep them from going out, and that's really what I want right now. That's kind of what I don't want them to do is come out of here, because then basically we're just wasting chickens. So I will kill them anyways, because we need the food. So it's not the worst case. Um, so what do I need here? Water. I thought we were low on hydration here. Let's drink up. We're really low, actually. Okay, we're now better. We're doing better. Anyways, we'll go back and get some more. Is there a walker? There? No, it's not. Okay, good. So let's go back to our home and get out uh, what we need to remove from the basement over there, our little farm. And actually, the sugarcane did grow, believe it or not. That's a pretty cool thing. So let's cook up some food. Um, Do I have any coal? I thought we did have coal. Maybe we don't have coal anymore. Oh, uh, that's going to be an issue, guys. Um, I guess we can use some of the wood we have, but... um. That's a concern for me. We should be able to get some wood, hopefully. But for now, I'm just going to use um, some of our sticks, and hopefully that cooks up enough. Um, oh, there we go. We got some nice stone over here. And I believe we have some more types of food here that we can cook up. We have some bread. I will take the bread, and I actually will take the canned food here. Um, and then the can opener is over here. If you guys haven't known, the can opener is always needed to open cans that are closed like this. And it does get used up, so durability is pretty good on a can opener, I would say myself. But luckily we found one for our safety. And our trash deposit is over here for any of these non-needed things. And I'll take some water with us. And let's go back down to the basement. And I want to show you guys what we're going to be removing. We're basically going to be removing everything. The sugar cane grow, uh, grew pretty good, so we're getting double here which is always a good thing, and we're going to move everything up. So we're going to grab all these seeds here, any seed that we see, and then down here, uh, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do. So if you guys can let me know what we're going to do back here, uh, that would be kind of useful because I have no idea what to do with this basement. We could do a storage unit, but we, again, we have a lot of storage up there. So yeah, this is something I need some advice on, so that will be pretty good if you guys can help me out with that. So let's go and get as much dirt as we have over here. We have two stacks, which is good, and I believe we do have a hoe. Yeah, we do. Good. Okay. So let's go out there into the messy world. And hopefully no walkers spawned over there. If they did, it's not the worst case. But looks like these chickens can't really get out right now. So that's kind of a good thing. And we'll definitely fix it because they're kind of bothering me. Oh, there's one walker. There's always that one walker here that just spawns here in the wrong day at the wrong moment. And that guy hopefully does not come in here and push him off. There we go. So you're going to stuck, be stuck there. Oh my god, this guy scared me. Wow, that was actually really dangerous. We're actually losing a good amount of... um. Blood here, actually. We're not losing any blood, but we're losing a lot of heart levels, so I'm not even going to bother with that guy. So let's get this farm started, as I mentioned. So let's get all this goods here. And we do have a good amount of dirt, but not a lot of seeds. Um, oh, we got two of them. Okay, so let's take out this area here. Actually, I don't really need it. It's kind of a waste, so we'll take all of it out. And we're obviously going to have to take out the dirt here as well, so we can make a nice um, irrigation system for us to use for the farm. So that's going to be a good thing here. So let's get ourselves our shovel here and let's think this through actually so i kind of want to have it going in rows like this so water between here water between here and then it's going to be going for the same pattern all across and it's going to be three by three so that's going to be uh, i think an interesting way to go by um not three by three but it's just gonna be patterns of three rows like this so that maybe we'll get some more food out of it and it's going to keep everything organized oh whoa 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 you don't punch me like that okay we're actually losing a lot of uh Oh, this is actually dangerous. We don't have any food on us. We do have some canned 
peaches. We'll eat those. Hopefully they're good. There we go. That's actually not bad. Um, so this is a little bit, it's an odd even pattern. So what I'll do is I'll have like this section here for like torches or something or I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll actually just put this like that. Um, so let's continue clearing out for the other section. Now this section again is going to be by three. So we're going to clear this all the way out for have a middle pathway. And then from there, we'll figure out what we're going to do. Maybe we can have a centered island area to do something cool, something unique with it. Because I want to work this farm so that's efficient and not like how the other farm was, which is pretty bad to be honest. So hopefully we can get this part done here. Good. All right. So uh, by two here. Hopefully it's by three. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So once we get this done, we'll get some water, hopefully. And I have to figure out how that's going to work too. And let me remove that weather. Okay, there we go. All right. So now this is actually an even round here. Why is the other side not even? Um, let's actually figure this out a minute. Maybe I did something wrong on the other side. Um, what is it? It starts off here, it goes normal, keeps going normal, and then for some reason this side here, okay, I get it. So this will actually be removed, and these here as well, including the double, and now we can actually place it so it's going to be even like that. Bam, there we go. So I fixed the issue. And then again, this is a little bit off-sided. It's not even. So we can get a double. Uh, so maybe we can get four instead of three like the other side. So now it's going to be even. And we'll get some more crops on this side, which is pretty, pretty good, to be honest. Uh, we need to get some slabs. So let's go grab that because I need to get some slabs for the ground so the water will stay in like I did here. And there's more walkers in here. Come on, guys. Stop spawning in here. I don't like it. Uh, there's a lot of eggs. <laughs> These chickens. We're going to have to, I guess, uh, do a lot of work and fix them in the next episode. Maybe if we can. So slabs. Let's actually do that right about now. I think I have some extra slabs in here. I'm not so sure. Uh, 48, 64. Yeah, good thing I didn't actually make any extras. There was no need for that. But I do want to make a... A uh, new bucket. If we do have a bucket in here, that'll be good. Anyways, I'll make a couple more, actually. I'll make, like, two buckets because we got to get some more efficiency here. Three buckets will actually be good enough. All right, good. Some water from the basement, which we will get right about now because I don't want to come back here and just do the same thing going back and forth. So three buckets. Bam, bam, bam. And we'll make ourselves a infinite water source, hopefully, so that we can actually use and not have to come back here, which will be pretty dandy and good. Um, why did I place that over here? Wow, okay. Let's get this out of here. All right, cool. Um, perfect. Also, guys, I want to know in the comment sections, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys like me uploading the survival series a little bit more often? Because I think it's pretty cool. Um, has a lot of cool things to it. I like the fact that we're actually doing a lot of work on it and expanding the base, which is freaking amazing. So, slabs. We got to place these like this. Um, that's not going to give us a lot of space to walk. But what I'll do is I'll actually just make a whole entire slab flooring so that it'll just be even and it'll hold the water in, which will be pretty, I think that'll be a good idea. So what I mean is down here, we'll just have more slabs. So it's just going to be an even pathway like this. I'll actually do it right now because what do we have to time? We don't, we have plenty of time here to see that it's not too hard. All right, take that, replace it. Perfect. And the water source we will put somewhere along here. Um, I wonder if, yeah, I'm just going to put it over here. Hopefully that'll be good enough for us. There we go. And then we can actually get here whenever we need to. So this should probably do it right there. Yes, there we go. Oh, is it even? I feel like it's not. Let me put one more. No, it is. Okay, perfect. So we got ourselves an infinite water source already. So that's going to be good to get this farm developed. I'm just going to put one for each corner. Um, I think that's just enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, these guys are coming all over the place. Where are they coming from? I don't like it. Um, I got to keep watching out for them. Uh, if you guys catch an area that's not safe or protected at all, let me know. I need to know for sure, because I don't want these guys coming in anymore. And this farm is coming out freaking cool. I like it a lot. I want to know what you guys think about it as well. Um, and this side, I think, is going to be the wheat, because we do need some more wheat um, than, uh, I guess, sugarcane. Sugarcane is good for XP, to be honest. It is really good. So I think a lot of you guys can agree with that. And it's just the easiest way to get more XP as well after fighting the walkers. Walkers give off a lot of XP as well. Um, so that's a good thing. So this should be two more rounds. Okay, good. So two more rounds of water, and then we finished off this farm, which is really awesome. We did a lot of work in this episode, so that's complete. Now we just got to get ourselves... Um, why can't we pick this up? There we go. All right, those are bothering me, and let's pick up that too, because that's bothering me. Um, so we do have a hoe, which is kind of close. It's a wood one, so it's not the best, but hopefully it'll get the job done. All right. So this is going to be the wheat area. I don't know how much wheat we have, uh, how many seeds, but I think we have enough to go through this whole column here. So that's going to be a good thing, and hopefully it'll be good to get ourselves some other types of um, food. So 27 might not be enough, to be honest. So let's go place it all along here. All right, cool. Just going to do it simply like that. 
And if you guys are actually, because I know a lot of you guys were talking about the server and you guys want me to play on that as well. So I'll do that. I'm thinking of either going back on Atlanta or not. I'm not so sure. Um, I'm just having issues, but I think I'm going to stick with Seaport because I heard that the new map is coming out, which is going to be pretty cool, to be honest. Not the new map, but we're getting the kit rank Alexon, which is awesome. So let's get ourselves the sugar canes, which is going to grow, I think, a pretty good job here. Oh, I think we need to have it like this i don't think we can have it against the wall let's check out if i was right here um oh we don't have to oh, okay that's actually a lot easier i thought we had to actually um harvest the dirt i thought we did that okay cool so i think we have a lot more uh sugar cane down at the house so let's go grab that and let's actually place all of it there's a walker right over here what are you doing buddy you're not gonna kill me i'm, I'm too i'm too stealthy for you right now oh this guy's actually pretty good all right take him out there's a lot what is no way, there's a walker inside our pen here. There's two walkers inside here. Have they been killing our chickens? No, this can't be, this can't be. All right, why are you guys killing my chickens here? They, they, they're they infected now, hopefully they're not. Um, Oh, that's horrible. I don't know how they got in here. There's more and more walkers expanding around here, which I don't like at all. Let me grab that. Uh, what was I here for? For sugar canes, I think we have a lot in here. Four more, and we actually have some more seeds. Uh, fantastic, so let's actually place all this stone here that we don't need and the dirt as well because we have a lot of items in here that we don't need at the moment uh drinks we don't need any of this drinks food items we'll leave for now and we'll put this in the valuable section we don't need any of that right now currently including the chicken eggs which we will move i think that we should actually maybe move these guys around because they're kind of in the way and maybe over here we can build like a, a little tower or something to actually we kind of have a tower up there but we can do something cool and successful with this area instead of having the chickens keep spawning out there it's really annoying but look how cool this looks guys this is actually coming out really nice i like it a lot so we have some more sugars and let's walk on this come on come on uh this is is it not gonna do it there we go all right, so I believe we can actually double jump on this. And whoa, what are you doing, buddy? There's so many of you, and you just killed a seed. Can't do that. All right, jump on these, and that should be done as well. And also, I'm thinking of actually adding another member to the server series. So if you guys are up for that, let me know for sure. I'll be um, probably adding one more person once in a while. I think that'll be pretty fun just to have another person to talk to. Uh, let me clear the weather, and now let's get the sugar canes here all complete and good to go. Nice, guys. Look at how cool this is turning out, guys. This has to be a really successful episode because we got everything done here. We got a water source, which is pretty good, to be honest. I feel like we should put a chest maybe over here. And then I want to show you guys what I want to do here next episode. Is Walker following us? No. So next episode, what I want to do is I'll do this right now to show you guys the idea, what is going to be happening. So basically, it's going to be a pathway going down. I thought there was Walker. Yeah, that's what I thought. For sh oh, no. Oh, God. We're going to have to punch him down. No, we're not. We're going to shovel him to, down, to the ground. There we go. Um, so as you guys can see, basically, I'm going to remove all of this uh, wood here. And it's just going to go down towards a stairway pattern. So it's just going to be stairs going down and underground towards the other side. But yeah, guys, I'm going to make sure to kill off this walker quickly. And then the sun is going down. It's a perfect way to end today's episode of The Walking Dead Survival. We got an awesome little farm here. It's turning out pretty good. And why are these not growing? Why did you come here? Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to finish this episode, dude. What are you doing? All right, get out of here. All right, it really takes out a lot of durability on my um, weapons here, to be honest. That's over there. Can we pick it up? All right, I know where they're coming from now. They're coming from right over there. Uh, we're gonna go fix that quickly. I told you it was something with the ground, and they keep they're able to jump from it. So right over here, look for. I'll show you guys right now. So if I take this out now, they won't be able to jump again. Uh, I have to may maybe do like a two level split here so they can't do a parkour. Because as you guys saw, they're pretty good at parkour actually. So I am a little bit worried about that. I'm gonna take out one more layer if this um, shovel can make it, so that for sure we'll be safe if anything happens. And the sun's going down. Terraform that over there. Looking good. Take this out as well. And now there's no way they can get in. I'm pretty sure that was the main issue or the cause. And I'll take out more of these as well. Let's get ourselves out of here. And just take those out so that they don't look bad. And there we go, guys. We finished today's episode of The Walking Dead, which was great. We actually did a lot of work. This may have been a lo longer episode, but I think it was really good. We got ourselves our nice farm done. So everything is looking good. We're going to have to make new tools as well and drink some water right now because we're actually kind of low on hydration. But other than that, guys, we're doing amazing. Our humanity is at 5,000, and uh, everything's looking fantastic. I'm going to look at this farm one more time before we end today's episode of The Survival Walking Dead. So there we go, guys. Next episode, we're going to make our tunnel pathway to the 
the river down there, which is a lot of walkers. But this is looking good. We do need some more torches so everything can grow faster. I know a lot of you guys are going to tell me that, so I'll make sure to add that as soon as I can. Maybe I could take one of these because we don't really need so many here. We have plenty, I think. So two of these should maybe light up the middle of this. I don't know. We're just going to put one here. Oh, those are slabs. So one over there and one over there. So I think that's going to be enough to light up this little area. And we could take one of these, actually. All right, there we go. And I'll put one on the opposite side so that the sugar cane has some light to grow as well. Again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Walking Dead. Make sure you guys leave a like. And stay foxy, guys. I'll catch you guys later on the next video of the Survival Walking Dead series. Peace out. Down from the sky where you left my soul